Taxi drivers occupy a position of trust. They are often in a position of power over the passenger and regularly carry some of the most vulnerable people in society. We expect that taxi drivers will take us safely to our destination and won't overcharge us or take advantage of us. The law requires that licenses to drive hackney carriages and private hire vehicles should only be granted to people who are fit and proper to hold a driver's license. The same test applies to an application for a private hire operator's license. Although not spelled out in legislation, many local authorities also apply a test of fitness and propriety when considering whether to revoke, suspend or refuse to renew a driver's license or an operator's license. Therefore, the concept of a fit and proper person is one of the most important concepts in taxi licensing. However, there is no formal legal definition of a fit and proper person. The law leaves this to the common sense of licensing authorities to apply in individual cases. A helpful starting point is to ask this question. Would you allow someone you care for to get into a vehicle with this person on their own? Here are some of the typical reasons why a person might be unsuitable to hold a license. First, the person's criminal record. Applicants for licenses will be expected to undergo a criminal records check. The check will show both unspent and spent convictions. Unspent convictions can be taken into account. An allegation against an applicant, but which did not result in a conviction known as a non-conviction information, can also be taken into account, provided it comes from a credible source, appears to be reliable, and is relevant to the question of whether the applicant is a fit and proper person to hold the license. Second, the driver's medical fitness. Applicants for driver's license will be required to undergo a medical check to ensure that they are medically fit to drive. Most licensing authorities require applicants to meet the same standards which apply to lorry and bus drivers. Third, the driver's driving proficiency. Some licensing authorities don't ask for anything more than a standard DVLA driver's license. Others require applicants to pass a more demanding test of driving skills, specifically designed for taxis. Fourth, the driver's knowledge of the local area. For many years, Licensing authorities have required applicants to pass a knowledge test, but with the increased use of sat-navs, some have questioned the need for such a test. Fifth, the driver's ability to speak English. Drivers need to be able to communicate with their passengers about their destination, the route, the fare, or in an emergency. They also need to be able to communicate with the licensing authority. Therefore, Many licensing authorities require applicants to take an English language test. As there is no formal legal definition of a fit and proper person, the licensing authority may take into account anything that is relevant to the question whether the applicant should be granted or should continue to hold a license. Just remember the overarching question. Can this person be trusted to protect members of the public?